Along the central California coast, in the ancient redwood forest, two banana slugs display their elaborate mating ritual that has helped the species survive millions of years of evolution. Despite their considerable physical disadvantages, these little creatures are actually miniature marvels of adaptation. This animal that it doesn't have fur, right? It doesn't have legs, it doesn't have arms, it doesn't have big fangs, it doesn't have any of these things, and it is really slow on the ground, yet there's thousands of them, right? You just take a walk in, in the redwoods and you'll see banana slugs everywhere. Slugs evolved from marine snails. Snails need a calcium-rich source to build their shells, but slugs have eliminated this need. By losing the shell, slugs lost a major protection, but gained greater mobility and a wider range of environments. The banana slug has four tentacles on its head. The top two are optical sensors used to sense the changes in light intensity. The bottom two are sensory, used to touch and feel where food is. The banana slug's eye-catching exterior would seem to be a handicap, but it actually helps more than hinders. When you look at these guys, they're bright yellow, and there's not a lot of bright yellow in the redwood forest. So it may be a defense where it's showing color of other animals may think, yikes, that thing might be toxic, it might be poisonous. Those bright colors, a lot of times poisonous critters have really bright colors that they display. In the absence of a protective shell, slugs have adapted to use their slime as a defense mechanism. When banana slugs feel threatened, they will excrete an extra amount of slime, making it difficult for predators to pick up or swallow them. The slime's sour taste also makes the slug an unappealing meal. These slugs can use their slime for other things as well. Into their tail, if you've ever seen a banana slug, right about right here, they'll have a glump of sort of a, a piece of slime that's stuck with stuff. Well, they have a trick where if they're in a plant, they can slide down, and it's a slow process that that piece of slime can actually support the weight of the slug all the way down so they can get out of the plant. Banana slugs advertise their readiness to mate by leaving messages in their slime trail. As part of pre-mating rituals, they will ingest each other's slime and eat each other's slime plug. The three species of banana slugs are classified by the size of their unusually large penis, which has evolved to be longer than its entire body. But that's only the beginning of the remarkable story behind this creature's sexual reproduction. Banana slugs are hermaphrodites, meaning that they have both male and female sexual organs inside of them. And what's strange about it is when you start to think, well, why would an animal do that? Um, because they still mate. They still look for other mates. They have the ability to mate by themselves. And the theory on this is that when you're so slow and you're on the ground, let's say that you're looking for a mate and your mate is 200 yards that way. But when you move at the speed a banana slug does, 200 yards can be a long way away. And that's saying you, you have a good chance of not even seeing her or him or it, really. So the idea is that in cases where it's stressful or you just can't find a mate, um, the banana slug can mate with itself. The mating ritual begins as the banana slugs intertwine in an S shape. Because the reproductive organs are located on their right side, this configuration allows the slugs to move tightly together. I like to think of a car pulling up for gas, right? That when two banana slugs are coming, they have to have the right side. So this one would have to be this way, and this one would have to be this way, so their two right sides are together. The banana slugs stimulate each other's sex organs for hours by biting and violently attacking. When ready, both slugs penetrate and exchange sperm. After hours of mating and pre-mating rituals, they often spend additional hours separating. Since they've evolved such huge male organs, separation is often a difficult process. Apophilation is a process when banana slugs are having sex and their sexual organs get stuck in the other banana slug. And if they can't retrieve it, if they can't get it back out, they'll chew through it. After mating, the banana slugs go separate ways and continue their solitary lives. They choose to mate with a partner in order to pass on strong sets of genes. Just another way the banana slug displays its commitment to reproduce. A commitment to reproduce is important for any animal. If you don't reproduce, you're going to die off. So banana slugs have found a way and it's sort of unusual. Um, but it works for them, and I think it shows, you know, again, it's a strange critter that doesn't have fur or feet or arms to get around with. For a critter to do that, you bet that it's going to have a commitment to reproduce and a commitment to survive.